Neil. Hey guys, good morning. It's about 1, one thirty in the afternoon. Um, only had about six hours sleep. I really didn't feel like getting up. But my mom has a doctor's appointment and I promised that I'd take her. So up I am and oh my gosh am I sore. I know it's kind of stupid. You wouldn't expect three pound weights to be able to make you sore, but I did a hundred reps of both arms in the morning and then I did a hundred and ten later in the day. So yeah, over two hundred. It's only three pounds. I didn't expect it to do anything. I, I don't know if I actually hurt my right arm or if it's just muscle soreness. But um, I made myself another protein shake this morning. <clears throat> Tastes way better than the one I had the other day. The one I had the other day when I was making the video, that was just the whey protein powder. It's like flavored like vanilla or something and I think it's sweetened. But that was just that with water. And I didn't even use cold water so it came out warm and half the thing was foam for some reason. Like literally half the cup was foam. Like drinkable foam. But uh, later that day, or yet the next day when I had a protein shake, I decided to put frozen bananas in it to keep it cold and to make it taste better, and it worked. This time I put the frozen bananas and blueberries in it. And it's really tasty. Anyway, I'll check in with you guys later. You know, now that I think about it, I think I might have only done 75 reps yesterday. The day before that I did 210. So, weird that I'm so sore. Hey guys. Just got done with taking my mom to the doctor. She thought she was going to have to have some mole or something on her forehead removed, but ended up she was super happy, nothing had to be done. I was telling my mom because she doesn't eat very well. All she eats is like toast and oatmeal. She's 68 and she has a bad back. But she doesn't want to accept that she's getting old. And I told her that she should get Meals on Wheels, which is a charity that delivers meals to you. And she just got such an attitude. And yeah, so it ended on quite a bit of an attitude. So anyway, right now, we're at this interesting mom and pop smoke shop. Honey and I, I don't know if you can see Honey there, are waiting for Jenny. What's up, baby? They have gray. I, I don't know what gray is. Gray I think is that's the light. Blend. Yeah, but that's light or something. It's a, it doesn't say light. Yeah, it's a light version of the gray, is a light version of the black. Do you want to try them? Mm, one sec, I'll look them up. All right, I gotta look these these cigarettes up right now. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, just trying to find our brand that, of cigarette that we smoke. And uh, at this, this is the back side of this smoke shop. The smoke shop is in that building right there. A lot of character, right? Yeah. I don't think we're in the best of neighborhoods right now. But, um, yeah, so she was just coming out to ask me if the gray pack was okay. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Honey and I are gonna wait for Jenny to come back. Hey guys, how's it going? Just came into the bathroom to do a vlog. Uh, maybe that's weird, but sometimes when I just, you know, just doing a talking vlog, I don't do it in front of Jenny. Especially if we're kind of arguing, which we are again right now. And this is what I came in to find when I came into the bathroom. The cats have taken over. Only other interesting thing to note is that I'm still sore as heck. I think I might have injured my camera holding arm. Uh, who knew three pound weights could injure you, but I guess 210 reps the day before yesterday, 100, and then 110 later in the day, and then 75 yesterday. I guess I overdid it for someone that really doesn't normally do anything, and I don't know if it's the tendons or what, but oh my gosh, it hurts so much. I have a hard time straightening it 
I have a hard time straightening out my arm today. Um, also, I guess I should bring it up. I'm going to try to cull this uh, tendency of mine and cut it out. But as I'm editing my videos, I noticed a. I mean, I can't. I'm not even sure if I can replicate it. But I've already heard myself do it once or twice now that I'm conscious of it in this video. Really weird. If you go back and watch my first vlogs of this year, you know, from like a couple weeks ago, I wasn't doing this thing all the time. So anyway, I'll try to cut that out. If not, hopefully it's not too bothersome. Uh, catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I was just about to make myself a cup of tea and I realized if I don't want my vlog to be a bunch of boring videos of me describing what I have been doing throughout the day, I actually have to vlog while I'm doing the things. So... I thought I'd show off my tea drawer. Um, I just took them all out of the box today because it was full and I couldn't fit any more boxes of tea in here. So, you know, I guess if you don't know what they are, it's not the best way to organize them, but I know what each one is. We got some, let's see, we got some Tazo Green Ginger, some Tazo Passion, some Green Constant Comment, some Raspberry Bigelow, and a loud kettle. Um, some pumpkin spice tea, some lemon lift black tea, and some regular constant comment. And some hot chocolate honey in the back. And this stuff that I just picked up at a Mexican market the other day, I've never heard of it before. Seven Blossoms tea. Jenny said it was Mexican voodoo tea, which I'm cool with that. Um, I guess now that I threw away the box, I can't even tell you what's in it, but it's got like rose and rosemary and orange blossom and all kinds of weird stuff in it. Anyway. Living up to the stereotype uh, for English people, I drink a lot of tea got my uh, electric kettle and everything. So, now that I've filled you in on my tea drawer, I'll catch you later. Hey guys, um, I just realized that since I just showed you the amazing and entertaining tea drawer, that now might be an okay time, if there ever was one, to show you some of the teacups that Jenny has bought me. And she's also bought me some really cool ones I have to show you guys once I pull them out from wherever they are, but they're more novelty, like one's a rocket. It's kind of like, imp what? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the rocket one. So we have the rocket one, and there's a gun one somewhere. I think that one's packed up, shaped like a gun. Just like a black pistol, and you hold the pistol grip and drink it. And then you got, oh, well, it's kind of like that, except more normal looking. Um, kind of like a 007 gun or something. This one's really cool, just really awkward to drink out of. Not even that super awkward. Maybe I should give it a try more often. It's also pretty huge. Probably be good for soup or something like that. Uh, but I, I make heavy use of these three. I've got my London cup, hometown, and my Mickey Mouse cup that came with a tea warmer that I didn't even know existed. It was like a little hot plate that you plug in and you set it on it and it keeps your tea warm, but something was wrong with the hot plate. It smelled really, really bad when it was turned on, so I don't use that, but cool cup anyway. And this is probably my most used one. Now panic and freak out. Representing Britain with a couple of the cups. Alrighty. So that's my hugely entertaining teacup collection. You guys better not be holding me to a high standard because I'm British and be calling me, out, calling me out on some incorrect terminology. Like, maybe it's actually a tea mug? I don't know. I called it a teacup. Live with it. You guys would think that making a microwave potato would be easier than this. I thought I remembered it only taking six minutes in the old microwave, but we used to have an actual decent big size microwave and now it's this tiny thing, and I did it three minutes each half after a flip, and still hard in the middle. Hopefully it works out yummy. We'll see what happens. Hey guys, so this is how my potato turned out. I put white cheddar cheese. Well, first I mixed in some butter, like kind of mashed up the potato on the sides, mixed in some butter and pepper and salt and garlic, and then put some white cheddar cheese on it, put it back in, melted it, and that's sour cream on top. Now, I will admit, it is not the prettiest jacket potato on the planet. I'm not even sure if it counts as a jacket potato since it's completely cut in half. But I assure you, it is very, very tasty. I think my microwave potato inspired Jenny to make curry and and carrot potatoes. Wait. Potato and carrot curry. There you go. Um, Is that like vegan curry? But as she's throwing them back into the boiling water, it's dangerous. The camera and me. Oh, 
almost got hit. And she got hit. Scary. Potato danger. Ah. I will show you as, as this progresses. Hey guys, checking in on the curry cooking. The sauce tastes awesome. We got some carrots in there. Got some rice over there. And we got potatoes sitting over here done. What's wrong, baby? I hurt my throat. Why are you always burning yourself, sweetie? Uh, it's the first time I've ever burnt my throat. Oh. How did it make it pass your know. mouth to your throat? I don't know, my tongue's retarded. Alrighty guys, laters. Hey guys, so this is how it turned out. That's the potatoes and the curry sauce and rice and the evil carrots of doom that Jenny has been trying to cook for, oh I'd say 30 minutes maybe total time in the microwave now. And they are still really, really crunchy. You know, they're supposed to be soft to go in a curry. I don't know if the corrugatedness of them is stopping them from being soft or what's going on here, but they were driving Jenny crazy. Anyway, it's still tasty even just with potatoes. Very good stuff. Alright guys, it's getting about that time of the night or morning. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a night owl, always on a weird schedule. Um, I didn't check the time before I came in here. I think it's like 6 a.m. or something. Uh, watching Top Gear as usual on Netflix, and uh, Jenny's already passed out. We were gonna watch Walking Dead, but then she wasn't feeling so well, and she laid down. So anyway, from Kitty and me, Kitty and I say goodnight.